Will my ex reach out? That's what we want to know. Are they going to reach out to you? If they do, what kind of reach out is it going to be? Is it going to be beneficial? Is it not? Um, All of the things. We want to know everything. So, welcome back to Hope to Have a Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader from England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe, and your intuition. It is timeless. It is relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. So, we want to know all about your ex. I'm going to do a Celtic cross and see opportunities to come, possible outcome, possible attainment to do with this connection. Are they going to reach out? Are they not? What do I think? My opinion of them. All of the things. So, I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements. Four seasons, most importantly, for angels offering us a circle of protection. So we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Been drawn towards this one. <clears throat> so the first card in a Celtic cross is all about the love connection between you both. There is a lot of love between you both. So are they going to reach out? Are they? Is that the question? What have they done? Why have they lost you? Why aren't you two talking at the moment? I'm quite surprised the two of cups has come out because... Why wouldn't they reach out to you, you know? Why are they your ex? Mm. <clears throat> so, the Nine of Wands. Overcoming the battles that have been there. The walls are still up. Um, The first two cards at my Celtic Cross are all about the question and the situation. So, we're looking at this connection in general. Um, It feels like the connection's had plenty of battles. Um, can you both drop your guards down enough to get this back? Or is it two people who have had to part ways because you just can't keep tearing each other apart anymore? Um, it feels like you two have really been ring through the ringer. Um, it's something we say in the UK. I don't know if you say it in the US or wherever you are, but you know, you really put each other through it. Um, them putting you through it, you putting them through it, and it feels like, yeah, if you only, it feels like it became very, very painful. Can you both heal from that pain and get back on the same page again? There's a lot of love here. There's absolutely a lot, a lot of love here. And there's a lot of life experience here in the past and possibly move towards the future if we get into the reading and you want to claim it put a little like on the video if you just want to support the channel put a little like on the video it really does make a difference so we've got the nine of coins at the moment you're both fiercely independent um and i think that you've had to both get into this place of hey hang on maybe i'm a stronger person without this connection um, you may have got into a situation with each other where you both made each other really weak in, in the way of, because you were battling each other and you were trying to save the relationship and take things out on each other, but then coming back together again, it kind of feels you've both had to step into this place of, or at least wanting to be in a place where you're two independent people who aren't tearing each other apart anymore um you know having your own you having your own thing and them having their own thing um and maybe you both parted ways with the thought of maybe we're better apart than than what we are together um yeah that, oh goodness i've had a couple of sad readings the last couple of days i went through a phase of having really lovely readings I think it all depends on what the spirits are wanting to say. So the Six of Cups, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of nostalgia here. There's a lot of happiness here. You both see the best of each other, but sadly you both see the worst of each other as well. You have done. You've seen the worst in them. They may have seen the worst in you, possibly. Um, or at least if you've seen the worst in them, then they've seen the the consequences of the actions in you. Um, there's a lot of shared experiences here, um, a lot of memories here. There was a lot of hopes for the future here as well. 
Um, yeah. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> the Queen of Wands is behind you. Um, got a feeling this is a place that you agreed to be in, like, in the past. I'm, I'll sit here and wait to see. Um, but not sitting and waiting. Being in that point of... I'm going to continue with my life and if we could, if I could sort myself out and they can sort themselves out, maybe the universe will bring us back together again. But leaving that door open a little bit, but while also rebuilding, healing and, and getting your confidence back as well, I think. Um, maybe you're getting to that point now where, where you, you feel stronger and and things and maybe you've been thinking should I reach out to them or should I just wait should I keep waiting to see I think you've got to wait for this person to be in the right mindset because I've got a feeling if you both fall back together too soon you could just end up back where you were where it become painful and toxic and made you feel insecure and made them feel insecure it, it feels like oh my goodness you know whatever went on here instead of working in, in a team I've got a feeling you probably wanted to work in a team with them to fix it and and they didn't or they couldn't or they couldn't see how to do that or they just don't have the skills to do that and so they pushed you away because you're better off without them in their mindset. Um, yeah. Oh, so are they going to reach out? Got the Ace of Swords for the opportunities to come. Yes, they most definitely will. But it has to come at a point where it's a path to on a new road, a, path, a new path. Um, once they're feeling strong and they're feeling steady, yeah. And the air and the fire signs, the swords are air signs, the fire signs, you know, <laughs> the air can put the fire out, but it can also get it burning as well. Um, feed off one another. That's probably what the problem is. You feed off one another, so especially if they haven't been in the right mindset that can go spiral downhill pretty quickly um so it's a case of yeah wait will they reach out yeah they're gonna um and I don't think you're too far away I don't think you're too far away from it to be fair because it's in the opportunity to come but I'll see what the rest of the other cards are but there's still sexual traction here there's still you think about each other a lot and I do you think you both are coming from a place of we have to do what's best for each other and then maybe hopefully we can get the rela relationship back on track but uh, I think you both look at each other and think I just want you to be happy and you both got to the place where you just weren't making each other happy um, and that's what love is isn't it it's, sometimes we've got to let someone go for a little while to to set them free you know and see what happens see if see if they come back or see if the universe brings you back together again um the secret question with this is a justice card that makes sense it's a universe sometimes the justice card for me is all about karma is karma going to bring them back to you are you going to find a balance in your life are they going to find a balance in their life so that you can both balance each other out instead of feeding off each other and working each other up um mm. timing on this is the four of swords it's going to take a bit of time i don't think it is too far away but it has to come from this person it can't i don't think it can come from you all you can really do is Make it possible for them to contact you when they're ready. Uh, don't like block them or make it hard for them to contact you. Just think, okay, I've got my path open. They, they've got that avenue of communication if or when they choose to use it. 
Because they will. At the moment, they're making peace with the world. At the moment, they're missing you. You're both missing each other. But there's it's almost like higher, more important things to do at the moment for the both of you. Getting you both back on your feet again and getting you both strong and independent again and getting you both so that you can walk hand in hand together and have a happy life rather than tearing each other down um because no one wants that to happen again um opportunities to come no possible attainment wheel of fortune the wheel will turn on this at the right moment and the possible outcome is the seven of swords when you do come back together again you are gonna not tell anyone and right i just think yeah i can't blame you really because i've got a feeling there'll probably be someone around you that's got a problem with you both getting back together and um, can i guarantee it will be a wonderful happy relationship a true reconciliation i don't know i think the lines of communication will open up again even if it is to have that final chat of i'm doing okay are you doing okay where are you in life my goodness, everything that happened is just so messed up. It feels like that kind of conversation. Who knows where that could lead? That could possibly lead somewhere or it could be bring you closure in some kind of way. Um, I do think, I feel there's a heartfelt apology here that's going to come your way. Sometimes I have to like say have to remind people what a true apology is but no I think I don't need to remind anyone of this because I think the apology when it comes your way it will be a genuine heartfelt true apology and regret and can we put the past behind us but can we just revisit it first because we need to talk about it um and so I'm not I don't think it's that far away before you open up communication between you both are they going to reach out yeah yeah how could they not you know there's such a deep and wonderful connection here um but it's waiting for that moment so what do you do while you wait what are you doing for you you know your nine of coins moment what are you doing for your nine of coins moment while they're doing their hard work are you in a place of healing and um building life for you so that you've both got something nice to tell each other when you do have that moment because it could be decades with tarot sometimes like timing's quite clear and sometimes it's well this needs to happen that needs to happen then it'll open up this I'm confident it's not that far away. It depends how long they're in their four swords. It depends how long they're in there. Um, and their four swords is the chapel that knights used to go to to make peace with the world before they went to battle. And then when they came back from battle, they would go back into the chapel and, and make peace with the world again. Um, how long... Is your person going to be in that chapel of realisation and making peace with the world and having, I guess it's a part of their spiritual journey. How long is that process going to be? I don't think it's too far with the Ace of Swords and the opportunities to come. They will reach out. You don't need to do anything other than build your self-esteem and confidence back up again and repair yourself so that if this does turn back into a relationship again there are some boundaries that you put in to keep yourself in a in a good place so that it doesn't spiral downhill again because it, it could it's done it before it you know there's a pattern there um, so what do you need to do to make sure that it doesn't go that way again? Um, and how do you reinforce that? And what boundaries and how do you put those boundaries in? Is it just a case of, okay, we'll get back together. If you treat me like that again, I'm gone. But if you say something like that, you really have to mean it. You really have to mean it. And the 
if they treat you like that again, go. You know, and it's can can you do that? I don't know. I've got a feeling that when you two start talking again, you're not gonna wanna tell anyone about it. You're not wanna you're not gonna wanna tell anyone that you've confided in about the mess that happened. Um, because there's probably going to be at least one person that says, what are you doing? You know, and you just have to remember that that, that person saying it because they love and care for you. Um, they've got good intentions, so don't be mad with them. And um, keep yourself safe. You know, if when they do reach out, if you find that you're losing yourself again or it's becoming toxic again, jump out a little bit quicker than you did last time. You know, it's hard, but I don't know if there can be a true reconciliation here, but I do think there can be the absolute honest discussion that does need to happen how long that's going to take I'm not too sure I'm hoping it's not too far but then what you call not far and what I call not far probably two different things um so I'd say not far next three months and you're like no not far is tomorrow no I think you know You've got work to do for you, you know. You need to be building your confidence up again and and finding yourself and, and getting to the point where you're not spending all day every day wanting them to reach out, you know, fill your life up a bit with things that are beneficial to you so that wh when you do come back into contact again, you're not just consuming each other again because we all know what happened last time, so you don't want to do that again. So it's like having enough in your life so that they become a little part of your life while you both live a life together, but you both have other things going on. So I think that's the message that's here for you. And I do hope the right person claims the reading. If you do claim the read and put a like on the video, if you just want to support the channel, I always gratefully receive likes on a video. It really does make a difference. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. Your angels are working in your favour on this. So whatever will be, will be. And it's in your best interest. I can guarantee you that. Um, if you'd like me to pull a card for you when I have my coffee in the morning as a reward for making it right to the end of a reading, I'd love to do that for you. If you see purple hearts, there are other people that like to make it to the end of a reading. So you're now part of a secret purple heart gang. I appreciate you. I see you in the comments and I will see you soon.